The Burmilla, as its name suggests, is half Burmese and half chinchilla. The Burmese is cute, the chinchilla is cute. You put both of them together, it's really cute overload. It was actually produced by accident, really. There was apparently um, an English baroness who had Burmese cats, and her Burmese escaped and bred with the chinchilla next door. So it's kind of one of these, as they say in England, between the sheets type arrangements. The Burmilla has a medium-sized physique similar to a Burmese. But while its coat is typically not as soft as a chinchilla's, the look can be breathtaking. One of the things that makes a Burmilla, I think, gorgeous is the fact that they have this beautiful coat on the side of the chinchilla and another beautiful coat on the side of the Burmese. Burmillas are all beautiful, but because they have two standard looks, they don't all look alike. Burmillas typically have a short, dense, silky, really beautiful hair. However, it is possible for long-haired kittens to be born to a short-haired Burmilla. As breeds go, it only took a few years, from 1981 to 1987, before the Burmilla was recognized internationally as its own breed. I definitely think that the Burmilla is what you would call an oops breed, which is that the breeding wasn't intended, but the result is something that is exceptionally beautiful. <laughs> Another standout feature of the Bermilla is that their lips, nose, and even their eyes are outlined in a dark, smoky color. Bermillas look like they got a quick makeover and that somebody went a little heavy on the eyeliner. It is very charming, and it accentuates their beautiful eye color. So if you think the Bermilla is as pretty as a picture, here are some things you'll want to consider. With hybrid cats, when you've crossed one breed with another to create a third, it can take generations before the cat in the new breed is considered pure. With a Bermilla, it is said to take five generations to produce one that sort of breeds true. Health-wise, Bermilla can be prone to allergies. And you'll also want to ask your breeder if they've had ultrasound images taken of the kidneys of the breeder cats. Bermillas can be predisposed to polycystic kidney disease, but checking the breeding pair before they mate will help minimize, if not alleviate, that. Grooming for the Bermilla is relatively low maintenance. While their coat is not very long, it is prone to matting. The short hair on the Bermilla is glossy and lies close to the body. Those hairs can stick together and cause mats. A weekly brush out is going to be fine just to move the oils through the coat. Bermillas enjoy being outdoors at times. They're laid back and can live happily in any sized home. So to recap, make sure there's no history of kidney disease and the Bermilla can be prone to allergies. Grooming is easy, but plan on combing or brushing once a week. The Bermilla is a cute cat with a great disposition that any family could fall in love with. Yes, good boy.